Well, I'm sure uh, Mr. Ellis told you we responded to a call out here around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Some neighbors called and advised us that there was a female out in front of a house that appeared to have been injured. Uh, then it came in that she'd possibly been shot. So deputies responded out here, found two persons uh, deceased inside the home, as well as the female who was uh, life flighted uh, out of here and taken to the hospital. She suffered multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, she was able to talk to us, and um, obviously they're treating her. She's doing really well, uh, thank goodness. So we contacted Spartanburg County, and with their assistance, uh, as well as some of our deputies, we just arrested the suspect in Spartanburg. Uh, so there's no danger to the community, no need for anybody to be on the lookout for anybody. Uh, this was a very isolated incident. Uh, some personal issues apparently sparked it, and, and more of that will come out as we interview the suspect, but there's certainly no danger to anybody. Uh, we certainly pray for these families that uh, lost some loved ones. This is a, a tragedy in every way, in a, in a great neighborhood. Uh, all these neighbors helped out, assisted us when we arrived, giving us descriptions, vehicle descriptions, and telling us what they saw, what they heard. That helped us get information out very early, and, uh, and we were on the suspect within probably 45 minutes of it occurring, so we were very fortunate. Any questions? The, uh, and the suspect itself, would they happen to be related at all to the victims in any way, or does it just happen? Uh, no, they're not related, but th there is a connection there, but they're not related. Okay, so the two deceased, male or female? Uh, I don't, so all the family have been notified, and there's multiple people in the house. We'll release that, uh, so Lieutenant Flood will release that a little bit later. Two deceased in the house, one female lying outside with multiple gunshot wounds, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Were there more than just those three in that said property? Yes. There were? We think so. Uh, they're still interviewing um, a couple, uh, I think two more people. And one may have been gone when, it, when the shooting actually took place, but it pulled in right afterwards. And all those were family. And Sheriff, do we know, do all of these people live in this residence? It appears so. Which residence is it? Uh, if you go down around the curve, you'll see some crime scene tape, and there's a, a SUV in the driveway there. It's kind of an olive green color house with a garage facing this way. I don't remember the number of the home. The suspect, is, is he he related to, it's a he, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is he related to them? No. Not related? No. So he's the only one who's not a relative? Uh, that's correct. The, uh, is there any indication kind of what led to the incident in question? Yes. Can you share that at all? No. It's all right. It's okay. A little early. <laughs> now, is there, uh, is there a timetable when the scene's supposed to be clearing and y'all should be clearing out? No, it'll uh, certainly be later on in the, in the night, I'm sure. There's a lot to, uh, a lot to be collected. Yeah, Sheriff, and this is, like you said, in its preliminary stages. Is there anything else you can tell us about investigators and what we're doing here right now trying to find answers? Again, I mean, you'll see them. They're out there working. Uh, forensics is here working. The coroner's office, our investigators, our homicide unit, uniform patrol deputies will be coming in to relieve some of the uniforms you see out here. We're working with Sheriff Wright in Spartanburg County. Uh, again, the suspect was apprehended in Spartanburg, and uh, so he'll be transported back here. But... Um, all those investigations are run parallel to each other. Yes, Is there a lesson that we should learn from this shooter? That if the suspect was arrested within 45 minutes, that no, he, no, 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 no. Right? He, he wouldn't arrest him within 45 okay. minutes, but we knew who he was and we were on to him in 45 minutes. Thanks to the we wanted to wait. Right? Absolutely. I mean, it's information sharing. People came out uh, when I got here. People were out here. Obviously, there was no danger. Uh, at that time, but the neighbors were out here giving us descriptions right away of what they saw. School had just let out. Uh, thankfully, no kids were hurt. Nobody, you know, nobody else was injured. But uh, people stayed on scene. They didn't crowd the home. They didn't crowd the, the female that had been injured. They let EMS get to her. First responders, um, the fire department was here. So, you know, everybody worked together, obviously, to take care of her. Uh, and then get us information as, as deputies arrived on scene. So yeah, that was crucial. Uh, we wouldn't, wouldn't be where we are without them.